All right, you guys ready? Here we go, rolling. And one, two, one, two, three, four. Hi, I'm Alden with Turnstyle Sartorial, and today I wanted to share some thoughts with you on how to wear a tie. Now, if you don't yet know how to tie a tie, you're in luck, because there are a lot of videos on the internet on that topic. But basically, this video is meant to pick up where those videos leave off, so that once you've got the basics down, you can take it a step further and make wearing a tie actually look good. So, first of all, what should you wear with a tie? Well, we want to start with a button-down shirt that has a collar. Got it! Pants too, please. I like pants! Let's take it one more step. If you're going to wear a shirt and a tie, you should be wearing it with a suit, sport coat or blazer. Does this count as a sport coat? No. Or at the very least, a cardigan and a sweater. I love cardigans! That's because if you just wear a shirt and tie by themselves, it can come off as kind of salesy. Hi! I want to sell you something. Anything! And as Jesse Thorne of Put This On says, the shirt and tie without a coat is the wedding uniform of a nine-year-old. But I wanted to be the wing bower! Next, let's get the tie itself looking real good. This isn't about barely satisfying a dress code standard. What? I'm here! If you're gonna go through the trouble of wearing a tie in the first place, you might as well make it look nice. Here's one thing. When you're tying your tie and you get to this point where the knot's still loose, pull on these two ends first and cinch it up before you slide the knot up to your collar. It'll help give the knot its triangular shape and it'll also result in a tighter, more stable knot altogether. Also, put some kind of dimple in your tie. Cause this looks weird. It's also kind of a weird tie. Tie length. Too long, too short. That's nice. Isn't there a too short that was a wrapper? Too short, like the wrapper. You just want to make sure that the end of your tie is neither above nor below your belt. Got it. Tie width. This feels wrong. So does this. But look at the size of my lapels. Generally speaking, you want to match the width of your tie to the width of your lapel. You don't have to break out your ruler, it's just a general guideline. Finally, get yourself one of these. It's called a tie bar. This one was really cheap, but it's simple and it does the trick. It not only is meant to clip the wide and narrow ends of your tie together, but it's also meant to clip the entire tie to your shirt, usually between the third and fourth button from the top. Keep it horizontal and make sure that the tie bar width is never greater than the width of your tie. Oh, crap. It's a small accessory, but it makes a big statement. That you're thoughtful about the way that you look, and that you'll go the extra mile to present yourself well. Bingo! I like pants! That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Feel free to get in touch on the contact page at turnstylesartorial.com, and I'll see you next time. Oh, your, your, your thingy is crooked. But I wanted to be the wing bower. But I wanted to be the wing bower. But I wanted to be... <laughs> 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 okay. Good? Oh, you got it, yeah.